In a disheartening setback for the Chicago Sky, Camila Cardozo, the third overall pick in the recent WNBA draft, faces a substantial hiatus from the court due to a shoulder injury. Initially slated to miss only Tuesday night's exhibition match against the New York Liberty, the rookie center's absence has been extended indefinitely, with a re-evaluation period of four to six weeks declared by the team. Cardozo's injury deals a significant blow to the Sky's aspirations, particularly their hopes of forming one of the league's most formidable front courts alongside Angel Reese, the seventh overall pick. Both rookies had quickly endeared themselves to Chicago fans, who eagerly anticipated their contributions to the team's rebuilding efforts following the departure of key players from the 2021 championship-winning squad. Adding to the Sky's woes, Brynna Maxwell, selected 13th overall in the draft, will also be sidelined for several weeks due to a knee injury, with a similar re-evaluation timeline set by the team. Cardozo's absence is keenly felt, especially considering her pivotal role in leading the undefeated South Carolina to an NCAA title just last month, where she clinched most outstanding player honors with a stellar performance in the championship game. As a two-time All-American, her contributions to the Gamecocks were integral, leading in points, rebounds, and blocks per game. Coinciding with the announcement of Cardozo's injury was the premiere of Full Court Press, a captivating four-part docuseries produced by Peyton Manning's Omaha Productions in collaboration with ESPN+. The series, which chronicles the journeys of Cardozo, Caitlin Clark, and UCLA's Kiki Rice during the previous season, offers fans an intimate look into the lives of these promising basketball talents. As Cardozo embarks on her recovery journey, the Sky and their supporters anxiously await her return to the court hoping for a swift and complete recovery that will once again bolster the team's aspirations for success in the upcoming WNBA season.